My guy, I don't think I've ever seen this Call of Duty situation be this bad. If you don't believe me, check this Welcome out. Welcome back to esports. Make sure to smash, hit the subscribe bell. Time to talk about Call of Duty. For free but social hey, credits. At least it's not, once again, Warzone news. At least not exclusively. Finally, a bunch of Call of Duty finally. pro players are making the rounds today on social media of various kinds, Twitter and on stream, to talk about their frustrations related to Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone, and the lack of support both mechanically for the game itself and for the current competitive scene. Frequent feature on this channel, Nade Shot had this to say on stream. Damn. Players Nadeshot? definitely need to realize, Damn. wake up and smell the coffee that we, it's clear that how much help we're gonna get from Call of Duty and Activision when it comes to like competitive infrastructure. Maybe it'll get better one day, but right now it's probably at the lowest of its lifespan in terms Damn. of involvement yep. and support because of the CDL franchising. You would think that They'd be all I've in, seen but so it's, many people it's really go trending off. in the opposite direction. It's not direction. even funny. Nate, even Modern Warzone goes off on Twitter. We literally went from players fighting for their pride and respect every single weekend through a 256 to 512 team bracket for a thousand bucks each. A thousand dollars? A thousand people to know. Activision is a billion dollar company. Thousand dollars? Wake up, Activision. Wake Call up, Activision. Has the most they literally pieced out. Broken and personable players out of any esports community. Storylines and rivalries that literally span across a decade. Vanguard releases and the league says you're not allowed to compete on stream together until February. <laughs> I went to our board of directors February. pleading for us to get back into competitive Call of Duty. I said, let's spend the money. Let's give our community what they're asking for. Just trust me and I'll make sure LA Thieves is a success. Two years later, I guess I'm the fool. As you can see, this has been a long and difficult one for Nate Shot, someone that clearly has a lot of love for the game, and he is far yep. from alone. Crim6 had some similar things to say I've on seen Twitter this as tweet. well, I've seen airing this tweet. his own grievances as he states, it's obvious that the people at the very top of the COD franchise are not interested in making a great video game. Dang. Annual releases are an illusion, blatant reskins, to sell more product. They're only focused on making it good enough to keep the cycle going. Facts. Follow the money, Facts. follow the effort. It might be hard to imagine a company as huge as Activision Blizzard not well, having billion the resources dollar company. or the care to put money and attention into B their most billion. lucrative franchise, at least one of their most lucrative franchises, but complaints like these are far from new or uncommon. Take a look mm. at what Hitch has mm. to say on Twitter as well. Hitch is going stating, we've never had I was not aware of that. Because the players were able to find the competitive backbone of every title. In this game, that's not even possible. Had the league issues on top of that, COD is in a bad state, man. Dang. That's a lot of heat being thrown at Vanguard, but don't think that Warzone Dude, is off the even modern Warzone on Twitter. Z Laner taking to Twitter to say Laner as well. Short but sweet. Warzone is in complete well. shambles. Warzone is in complete shambles. There are enough stories shambles. about bugs and glitches and strange decision making processes to really justify that statement. We've also got Aiden stating yesterday, today is the first day I'm not going to play Warzone. Going to be tough for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think he accidentally put the, but that the game wrong sucks tweet. and needs some changing before I hop on again. Silver one in Apex. Goal is to hit platinum tonight. This isn't the first time Aiden has expressed some discontent either. It may just be the breaking point. Back on the 14th of this December, he tweeted, I'm embarrassed to be a COD player right now. Damn. It seems like everything from Challengers, CDL, and Warzone are down that? badly right now. I can't a million that? things wrong with Warzone, but what's the point? Part of me wants to stop playing until the game is fixed, but I don't know. So once again, we've got this basket of frustrations Bro, with the current is, state of... I've never seen this many pros be disappointed. We're talking about people that have direct connection with Activision, you know what I mean? The loadout change is absolutely the worst thing they have ever done to this game. And the game just froze. That's f***ing awesome. Now, this game has a lot of problems, obviously. Like, things just not really counting or working or whatever. If we strictly stick to Warzone, the biggest issues with this game, I mean... The shop is kind of trash. Way too expensive for what you get. They're like- Still, arguably, that very same IP, that very same community, all that momentum, and yet so many disappointed fans. Yeah. It's really hard to say, but once again, we look to Twitter to get some answers from some of the pros that have been talking about this. Jgod had this to say in response to Aiden's last tweet. It is crazy how many things you could list and not show the solutions since Activision just laid off people and have strict timetables for annual They're launches. They're firing So the everybody. understaffed devs are They're forced into unrealistic out, timetables and getting blamed for lack of polish. We talk I mean, listen, man, if you're gonna purchase a product, customer has the right to complain if the product don't work. Developers are able to do when given the time and budget to do it. Like True Game Data, who in his video noting issues with and prescribing fixes for Warzone, still stayed positive on the efforts of the developers. Between the constraints on pro players and the struggling devs, it doesn't paint a pretty picture regarding Activision's commitment to the game. Mm. Like Crim6 said, follow the money, follow the effort. Yeah, I mean, the 
the devs are not really to blame. The devs are simply just there working on stuff that they're being told to work on. It's just Activision. Bro, billion dollar company. I just don't get it, bro. Let me know your thoughts in comments below. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna